Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to draw a desk or a dresser in 3D. So we'll start with a dresser. It might be a little bit easier. So all you have to do is draw the front of the dresser, which is just gonna be a regular rectangle. And I would suggest using a ruler whenever you can. Just makes everything look a little bit more clean and a little bit more realistic. So I just drew a rectangle and kind of erased that horizontal line that was in between. And you're just gonna decorate the front of the dresser. So most dressers have drawers. So I'm just gonna draw some drawers in this dresser. Like I said, a ruler really makes this pop. I am not using a ruler just to save a little bit of time. So there's the front of my dresser, and we talked about how to make things look 3D. If they're rectangular or square, all you have to do is put a trapezoid on top. So pretty simple, I'm just gonna start in the corners, draw a trapezoid. The taller the trapezoid, the wider the object's gonna look. And I'm finished. So this is a pretty simple dresser. If you made it shorter, it could look like a nightstand or a side table. Let's go ahead and try to draw a desk next. So next to my dresser, I might decide to draw a desk. So same thing, we're just gonna draw the front of it. And the front of your desk can look however you want. You can have drawers, no drawers, totally up to you. You do want a space for where your chair can be pushed in. So I'm not gonna continue that line all the way across. I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna draw a cutout for where your legs would go. Erase that horizontal line. That really does make a big difference if you forget to do that. Your picture can look really confusing. All right, so I'm gonna draw some drawers. This kind of reminds me of my desk that I have in my classroom. I just have three drawers on either side to keep pens and markers and things in. And you can put handles on them if you want. I like to put this nice long, it almost looks like an H sideways eye handle. And then to make it look 3D, you just stick a trapezoid on top. And now you have a desk. Now for either one, you can go ahead and start adding things on top of your desk or dresser and that's really going to make it look more 3D. So let's say I have a little plant here. I'm going to do a really skinny oval. And I could add a few leaves, kind of a little plant, release in there. I could have my laptop, so I'm just gonna draw a rectangle. Now laptop's pretty skinny, so we're just gonna have a tiny, 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 tiny trapezoid on top. Now this is the cool part. So that's the back part of your laptop. The front, since we wanted to make it look like it's 3D, we're gonna draw a trapezoid for the keyboard part. Nice soft edges. And then if you wanted to, you could draw the keys. Maybe a little mouse connected. And there we go. Now we have a nice laptop or even a regular computer on our desk. Maybe on our dresser, we wanna put a fish tank. So a fish tank, if it's a rectangular fish tank, we're just gonna draw the rectangle. We're gonna stick a trapezoid on top. Now fish tanks are see-through, so you are gonna see the back part, those back corners. And you can draw your fish in there. 
So this is how you draw a desk or a dresser in 3D. You could draw, like I said, make this shorter. You could draw an end table. Um, if you made it wider, you could, instead of drawing drawers on the front, you could draw just a big opening and it could be a vending machine. Um, so you can do a lot of things with these shapes, just kind of changing it for what you want. One last thing I would like to show you is how to draw um, a shelf, an open shelf. This is really cool and it makes your picture really look 3D. So all you do, and I'll draw a nice tall one, is draw the front of it, just like we've talked about. This is the front of my shelf. I'm gonna erase that line. Now an open shelf usually has five or six different shelves. Now yours, if it's shorter and wider, it might only have one shelf inside. But let me show you an easy way as to how you can make this look 3D. So basically, draw the outside. I would draw a border going around the inside. So you're just kind of doubling up that line. This is gonna look cool. Just like that. Draw a few rectangles, almost like you're drawing a ladder. Okay, it doesn't quite look 3D yet because we need to add some trapezoids. So on top of those little rectangles that you've drawn, if you draw a trapezoid, Now it starts looking more 3D. And we don't want to forget the trapezoid on the top. You can also put one on the bottom since it's an open shelf. And then I would just draw a very light line that kind of connects all these back corners. And it doesn't go through everything. It just kind of connects these back corners and it doesn't have to be very dark. And now you have a 3D open shelf that you can put books on, picture frames, plants, things like that. If you don't want a whole bookshelf, you just want one or two shelves floating on the wall, same thing. Just a little rectangle and a trapezoid. So I could have some shelves. These are called floating shelves because they look like they're just coming off of the wall floating shelves above my desk where I could put all kinds of different statues, a little cup of pens, picture frames, things like that. Before we go, I know a lot of people that might want to draw the desk will be wondering, well, how do I draw the chair? Well, if you just want a simple stool that's not going to block your view from anything, just draw an oval, a nice skinny oval. Draw two lines on the very edge and a curve at the bottom. And that's all you need for a stool. You can draw a line that goes down to the legs of your stool. I just kind of draw little rectangles going out to make it look like it's holding the stool up. If you want to draw something that has a back to it, like a chair that has a back to it, I would just go ahead and start with your stool, but then draw a rectangle for the back of your chair. Remember, erase anything that's on the inside of that. And it's okay if it overlaps, it's just the more overlapping, the more th 3D and realistic it looks and then just connect the back of your chair to your stool. I'm just gonna color that in a little. If you want a rolling stool, you can just put some little curves at the bottom to look like wheels. And now we have a stool next to our desk. Thanks for watching this video.